Good afternoon. It's great to be here. So let's start with a quiz. Who here can tell me what we're looking at? How about now? OK. I give up. Perspective is everything. And at Intrinsic 4D, that's what we do. We bring new perspectives to medical imaging. How we perceive information influences how we interact with the world, with people, with data, and can influence our decision making. Most of us have had a loved one or perhaps a friend that's been diagnosed with a serious illness or disease or perhaps just an injury. And let's face it, looking at these medical conditions can be stressful, let alone difficult in terms of trying to understand what's going on. But what if you could both visualize and comprehend the particular medical condition in time to be able to alter the course of the treatment and the disease? What if you actually knew what your doctor was talking about? <laughs> so a little more than three years ago, we started Intrinsic 4D with the goal of saving lives. Part of the inspiration for me personally, my wife and I had experienced some of these communication challenges during her previous battle with breast cancer. So we developed some novel rendering techniques that take standard black and white 2D plain films from MRIs, CAT scans, otherwise known as CT scans, and converted them into vivid 3D, novel vivid 3D views of actual anatomy with the goal of improving patient education and surgical planning. Let me give you an example. So raise your hand if you understand what's going on here. Okay, a few of you. All right, so let me give you another perspective using our software. So this is an aortic dissection, a tear of the aortic wall, which can often result in death. This happened to have been missed by the hospital when looking at the 2D images. The data was there. The risk to this person's life could have been avoided. And new technology, I think the point is, can improve the power and utility of existing data by simply providing another perspective. I'll give you another example. This is how your surgeon sees your brain. Some of you are probably very familiar with these images, others perhaps not. This is how your surgeon sees your brain with our service. In this particular example, we cut down on time in the operating room and contributed to saving this person's life. What we do is assist surgeons by improving their understanding of the disease, improving their spatial perspective, providing them with fluid 360-degree views of actual anatomy. This is a brain aneurysm you're looking at here. And helping to optimize or plan for these particular surgeries can be meaningful in that it can improve confidence and comfort by your surgeon before they put scalpel to flesh, before they open you up. By the way, none of these images that you're seeing here are artistic renderings or animations. This is the actual data converted instantaneously with our software. New technology can increase the power and utility, as I mentioned before, but save time in the operating room and create meaningful health advantages. In fact, when you might be able to say that we are aiming to democratize radiology and that for all of us non-radiologists, we are aiming to create a more appreciable understanding of medical images. For the patient, we aim to improve your understanding of your anatomy, your potential disease, and your health after all. It is your body. It's almost akin to before you buy a house, would you receive a tour? Before you have a surgery, would you like to see inside? Or would you like your surgeon to see inside? So that's a core part of what we aim to do. And I think another thing worth mentioning is that studies have shown that the more we as patients understand the disease, the more likely we are 
to change our behavior and consequently improve our health. So communication is more than words. It's actually very visual. In fact, if you go back thousands of years ago, you could argue maybe it's in our DNA. The Egyptian hieroglyphics, a core method of communicating was pictures. Going further back, 32,000 years ago, before there was language, these cave drawings, somewhat famous, I suppose, in France, was how people communicated with one another. 65% of learning is visual, and when you combine words with actual pictures, the effect is far greater. Not too long ago, we, had a, we, have, a, a, we have a family friend, let's call her Mary. So Mary had a persistent cough, and she came to us with her CT scans. She was trying to get an understanding of what her particular medical condition was. Here are the scans that she saw in her doctor's office. She knew there was something there, but couldn't quite fully grasp what was going on. So, and that's really part of the challenge is that, unfortunately, doctors, some of them can have a difficult time communicating what's going on inside our body to us. Some of them use medical jargon, some of them talk over our head, and invariably, the patient can leave with more questions than answers. Now, looking at these same scans with a different perspective, so this allowed Mary to better understand, of course, her pathology, but more importantly, to become more emotionally connected to the disease process. Yes, this was scary for Mary. However, this created a heightened sense of urgency to do something with respect to treatment. But not all cases turn out with a positive result. In fact, every year, thousands of people ignore their diagnosis, in part because of a lack of clear understanding of their particular condition. What if you had a better understanding of your disease before it's too late and had that heightened sense of urgency with respect to treatment? Getting ahead of disease is a huge priority in healthcare today. Connecting the dots, or you might say bridging the communication gap between doctor and patient is a high priority. Words in a 2D slice of data or 2D image only means so much without the requisite 10 years of medical training. If your doctor approaches you and says, during a visit, and says, look, your calcium score came back high, points to these images, and tells you that you need to change your diet, may not resonate with everyone. Comparatively, if your doctor says, look, here is your disease, it has started. This is your plaque in your artery. And if you don't reduce your consumption of sugar, sorry, I had to say that, but sugar and fat, this is going to get worse, and your risk of a heart attack goes up. So in short, we are aiming to democratize radiology, leveling the playing field, connecting the dots, and we believe visualization is that unifying language. Over the last 40 years, there's been tremendous innovation in healthcare. There's been progression in medical technology with robotics. There's been new drug therapies that have come about medical or doctor to patient communication. Maybe not so much. Perspective is everything. And I'll just wrap by saying that we're based outside of here, here outside of Detroit. We're fortunate, we have a talented team of folks that are very committed, smart, and passionate, putting their hearts in everything we do. Here's mine. Thank you.